A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Islands, listen to me. Pay attention, count remotest peoples. The Lord called me before I was born. From my mother's womb, he pronounced my name. He made my mouth a sharp sword and hid me in the shadow of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking, I have toiled in vain, I have exhausted myself for nothing. And all the while my cause was with the Lord, my reward with my God. I was honoured in the eyes of the Lord, my God was my strength. And now the Lord has spoken. He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. It is not enough for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel. I will make you the light of the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. My lips will tell of your help. My lips, My lips will, will tell, of, tell your of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me, and save me. My, My lips, lips will, will tell, tell of your, your help. help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. My lips, my lips will, will tell, tell of, your, of help. your help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. My lips, my lips will, will tell, tell of, of your, your help. help. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help though I can never tell it all. O oh God, you have taught me the, from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. My lips, my lips will, will tell, tell your, help. your help. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. <clears throat> Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father, you were led to your crucifixion, as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. <coughs> the Lord be with you and with your, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Christ. Lord Christ. While at supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you most solemnly, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering what he meant. The disciple Jesus loved was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, Ask who it is he means. So leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said, Who is it, Lord? It is the one, replied Jesus, to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. He dipped the piece of bread and gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. At that moment, at that instant, after Ju Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, What you are going to do, do quickly. None of the others at table understood the reason he said this. Since Judas had charge of the common fund, some of them thought Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out, night had fallen. 
When he had gone, Jesus said, Now has the Son of Man been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will in turn glorify him in himself, and will glorify him very soon. My little children, I shall not be with you much longer. You will look for me, and as, and as I told the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow me now. You will follow me later. Peter said to him, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, answered Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> there must have been great foreboding in all the disciples, I imagine if you like, realizing that there was great danger in Jerusalem, that there were, the enemies of Jesus were also conspiring. But little did they imagine that they, the betrayer was among them. And as we know, from not, not only Judas, but in the end, Peter as well. And Peter swears to be faithful. So it's, it, it's a... It's a, a revelation, I suppose, of, of human nature, of the human desire to be good, and yet the weakness that's part of us. So we pray that as we celebrate this Mass, we pray for the gift of fidelity, to be true to the mystery of God, true to our vocation as Christians. Father, we pray, pray you to bless us, to mm. walk with us through life, to give us strength, and deep faith in moments of great testing. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for the mystery of your, of your life and the mystery of human evil. We pray that we might understand that darkness is, is present in our world, always has been there and is still there. Lord, we pray to bless all Christians to be true to, to, true to God and true to Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Father.